the experience of peace was described as a state of which we call Turiya consciousness in the work we're doing with Trika, or we call that fourth state of consciousness with Tripura Sundari, which is to enter the void. That in, in, in this tradition, it was called Dhyana, the, the Dhyana state, full, bef, the state before Samadhi, the state before Samadhi, complete absorption. The, the, now, the whole thinking is that how do I get to that tranquility? Right? How do I get to that tranquility? So the first step is I want to slow my breathing. Right? The second step, I want to lower my heart rate. The third step, I want to bring awareness along my spinal cord, along the, this beautiful nervous system I have. Then I want to bring in that consciousness from a magnet in my eye into me and I want it to flood me with that being and then bliss comes. Isn't that beautiful? And it's a mantra path but not like Shakti mantra, not like Kundalini Kriya mantra. It is a path of one mantra, Om. Just Om. I bring Om in. I bring Om to every part of my being like we did just now. And in that state, the Muladhara, the Agya, open and consciousness begins to flow into me. This is a... So when we do all these buns and Hatha Yoga type breathings and Pranayama, we are preparing the body to receive this BAM, you know. It's like a... So one of the first things to do is the Namaskara Mudra is to bow down and ask for grace to come into me, right? And what does that mean? That means that I accept Muladhara, Swadhisthana, all our parts of me till the fifth chakra here at the throat. And at the sixth chakra is where that information will download into me. So I surrender myself, my spinal cord first to receive this. So in Kriya Yoga, it's very important that we learn to sit straight. We learn to experience the spinal cord. We learn to feel the spinal cord. It's very important. It's not about whether you can sit in Padmasana or not. It's not about that. So one of the good ways to do it is I'll show you. And if you want, you can get up and do it right now which is to sit on your haunches, on your knee, on a cushion, right? And I'll just show you, right? Yeah. Is sit on your on a knee and then bend down and touch your forehead to the ground and put your hands in front of your head and lift your feet up off the ground on your knees so your feet are lifted up and this activates the mula this is a very good posture you can do a whole series of hatha yoga here of, of surya namaskar type downward dog things but the most important is to bend down and then to come up and look up into your shambhavi upwards and stretch your spine now, if you can't bend down like that, all you have to do is stand up straight and do the same thing 
And if you want to wake up the mudra, we do the Ashwini mudra in Shakti work, but the Mula Band is similar, but it is like a, it is, a, you can do the leg raise on your shoulder with the neck bent forward back, so you can move your neck like that and keep your legs straight up. What that does is it's opening up the spinal cord, the five elements, the five points where the, and in Kriya Yoga, what they say is that the chakras are bone points. They are junctions in your, in your spinal cord that have clusters of nadis or nerve endings that have clusters. So the more I go up the spine, the more dense it gets. So by the time it gets to the heart, it's like this huge cluster of 72,000 nadis coming out. Right? By the time I get to the third eye, it ends there and all end there. So it all starts at Muladhara and the energy, like we see, flows through Ida and Pingala up like that and comes and meets here. Comes and meets there. So just imagine, so one of the most important things like we do with our other, my other practice is the Ashwini Mudra, which is to tighten your butt and pull it up. You can open your arms and the double breathing does it one time <laughs> and double breathe it out. <laughs> <laughs> Double out again. <laughs> and what you want to do is you want to become aware with the same double breath of each point in your body. So if I double breathe into my forearm <laughs> and let go, <laughs> if I double breathe into my bicep, <laughs> one at a time, <laughs> if I double breathe on my right side. <laughs> If I double beat on my, on my shoulder, on my, the front of my neck, the back of my neck, my left lower back, left middle back, right middle back, left buttock and hip, right left buttock, thigh, left thigh, right thigh, left calf, right calf, scrunch your toes. And if you sit straight for a second, you will begin after doing the Om that we did and these two little gestures, begin to feel a kind of tingling on your skin. You will begin to feel a tingling maybe up your spine along the vagus nerve. You'll begin to feel tingling on your heart center where the cluster is. How many of you are feeling tingling right now? So this tingling is is a form of what we call in yoga pratyahara, which is you are beginning to go inwards. So I'm pulling in my senses to myself, right? Before I go to the three knots in my body of Lahiri Mahashaya. So I'm bringing it in to me. And the more I move that energy point around me, left neck, right neck, everything begins to tingle. You get that feeling? Yes? It's like a, I'm alive, you know? And what you're doing is you're converting rajasic and uh, tamasic energy into sattvic energy. You are pulling like an energy upwards towards the third eye. You're moving from base earth, tingle, 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 all the way to the third eye. Is that nice? It's like a 
feeling. So because we have already done the Mula Band and we've done that, we don't have to do, we can do many other things like Igna, Band and left, right. Those are all pranayama for the chakras. But we're not going to do that. We are going to come straight up to the throat. And we are going to, everybody please sit still. I need everybody to sit completely still. For the next half an hour, let's try and not move an inch. Let's try and stay steady in our bodies. Not in punishment style, but in a just to experience physical stillness. Let's bring. So now the next part is to lower our deep breathing. So the first exercise is to just breathe without pausing, but through your nose. So we're going to breathe in and out. Okay, everybody's nose is clear. Just clear your nose if you haven't got it and just breathe in and out. So I'm going to time you. So how many breaths come in one minute? Let's try and do it, okay? I'll time you and let you know when one minute is up. And we can go to one minute and we start ready and do very slow breathing. Slow in, immediately slow out like this. And if you want, you can do a slight ujjayi, like a ra rasping sound. That's one breath, okay? So try and do slow breaths and start now. And count. Count how many breaths you're doing. All right. I got seven and a half. How many did you do? Show me in your hands. Seven. Seven. Many sevens. Good. Six. Wow. Look at that. Deep lungs. <laughs> Good. So now we want to slow down. And we want to become aware of a slight variation on the theme. We want to breathe in, but breathe out longer. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to activate the ida, the left side of your body. We're going to activate. Why? Because we're going to activate the moon, the, the right side of your brain. And why does Kriya do that? Because bliss occurs when we activate this side of the brain, the right side. The left side is always trying to figure things out. You know, I'll do an experiment with you, right? I want you to uh, think of a tree, right? And you'll find that when you try to visualize the tree or a car or a building, your eyes will move upwards slightly to the right or to the left. The right brain is the visual cortex, is where the visual side is, and the left brain is analytical. So we want to increase our out breath to increase ida. This is part of the left side activation. So heavy left side activation going on here. So we do that. We go. 
So we breathe in. So if you imagine, breathe in four, then breathe out five or six. So we go. And then breathe out. So I'm doing four and eight, right? So can you do that for one minute? Let's try that. So we breathe in four and we let it out eight, okay? And start now. Keep your hands open, facing upwards. I did eight this time. I was much faster. I want to do it slower again next time. So I want you to experience something now. So you got a slight tingle in your spine, especially around the heart chakra. There's a kind of tingling going on, maybe upward movement of tingling. You're feeling a kind of horripilation on your skin. Maybe the skin is becoming more aware of the air in the room or you're feeling this feeling. And I want you to feel your palms. So two things will happen when you do this. Your palms will begin to get hotter. Right? And the more you do this breathing of short in, long out, short in, ida. Not prana, but ida, shakti, jiva. This is going out. We are going to, you will find that your extremities, your feet, your hands will begin to get warmer. And you will find a cool breeze will begin to go up your spine. All right? And... After a while, if you put your warm hand over your head, you will feel a cool breeze coming out the top of your head too. You want to try? Let's do a one minute again and we'll try it now. Ready? And we go. Short in. Keep your hands open and raised upwards and long out. Short in. Long out. Short in. Long out. Relax. So how many people have their hands starting to tingle? See, every time this hack works, it's like a hack that's going on. I'm hacking my neurology. What am I doing? I'm kind of teaching my body to deeply relax and stop thinking. I mean, when you're doing this, it's practically impossible to think, right? You might be thinking about the hands tingling. You might be thinking about the where you're holding the breath. But any other thought is not there. There is no thought. Right? 
So we're calming down. And if you have a Fitbit, you see that your heart rate has dropped also. So mine is down to 66 right now. So the, it's, it's funny because once you're doing it, I know this is crazy, but you start feeling good, right? You start feeling good. You're releasing oxytocin, you're releasing nice feelings. You know, just like when you do Shakti mantras, you're feeling good. You're feeling good just by doing slow breathing. I mean, how powerful a hack is that? You're feeling good. You're feeling great.